Hi there, it's Stacey for Bliss and Love Learn. Um, I hope you're all okay and having a good week. Just wanted to quickly show you some of the firework themed activities that we've been doing this week. So we've done some drawing and some painting and then we've also made um, our little rocket ones here. So I'll just quickly take you through each one um, just to give you an idea of how we did it. First of all, we were doing some firework paintings and how we've done this is using some old toilet rolls just to make ourselves a little shape and then any paint that you have, so acrylics or just any paint um, they've got lying around at home. So what you'd want to do is take your, your toilet roll and just cut in all the way round and some slits so you go all the way round until you're able to fan it out and thank you. you can see there so you have this kind of shape you can see that I've had the paint on mine already um, if you wanted to make a smaller one you can just go halfway cut the toilet roll in half um, and then just re-roll that but if you want a big one like this you would go all the way round then all we did when you've got your shape is add some paint on to here So you can reuse them uh, once your paint's dried. So that's all I'm doing here. I've used this before. Um, blue paint's dried. Just adding on some fresh paint. And then you would use that to just print on your firework shapes onto your picture. There you go. So that's the first one we did, just using some paint to make some nice firework paintings. If you haven't got any paint or you um, don't fancy that, we also did some nice relaxing colouring um, pieces to create a similar kind of firework picture. Um, now these are really nice, um, as I said, like a relaxing thing to do. Uh, so you can really take your time with them. So what you do to create these, and I just need to finish this one off there, is you start with your blank piece of paper, you just put uh, a few random circles anywhere you'd like on your page. And then you go around, actually I'll just grab one up here as well, it's good to space them out a little bit. And then all you do is you go around each one to um, pick a colour. So say here, starting with green, and you just colour in in a nice little pattern all the way around that circle that you've just put onto the page. And then you do the same on all your other dots. So you go around each one. You can use any colours you like. And you go around each of the dots in the same way. Then you take your next colour, so here we've got orange, and go around again. Oh, it looks more yellow now, doesn't it, on the page? I'm doing it quite quickly to show you here, but yeah, you can take your time with this. Um, and again, you go around each one, so all of the dots. And as you see on this one, um, as you keep going uh, further and further out, eventually um, the each one blurs into the other so your colours will start to, to fade into each other uh, much like on a, on a firework display. Um, so that's what we did there with the drawing. So we've got some paint and some drawing. So for this one you could use um, crayon like I have there or you can use colour pencils, felt tips, um, you could even try that with paint or um, maybe with some pastels. Um, so yeah a lot of options there in terms of materials. So, that's what we did to create some nice little pictures for fireworks tonight. 
And then our little craft project this week was just creating um, a little rocket wand. I think you can just about see that there. So it's really simple to make. I started off um, just with some old kind of uh, cardboard from an old box, um, but you could use anything. You could use a shoe box, um, just a piece of card that you have at home. Um, ideally quite a, a sturdy piece um, of card is, is better, so something that's a little bit thicker. And you use this to create your main shape. So you see how you've got a rectangle and a triangle. So if I turn it over, you can see I just created that shape. So the rectangle with a triangle on the top to create a really simple rocket shape. And then I've used here um, an old kind of um, stick for barbecue rim, but, uh, any kind of wooden stick, or even if you have a, a straw, you could use a straw. And um, that goes on the bottom there. I was able to just slide it into the cardboard, but you can, you can stick it on the back, that works just as well. And then you just go ahead and decorate the front, however you'd like. So I use some coloured paper on here and then some different red materials there. I don't know if you can see, I've got a bit of sparkle on top of my rocket. Um, so you can use coloured paper. I used an old Christmas card for these kind of shiny bits uh, and sparkly bits. And then the same for my little rocket windows. But you can decorate yours however you'd like. Uh, if you want to use pens and pencils to add things to it, you can do as well. And then the important last bit you need at the bottom of your rocket is um, these bits here. So all you need for that is just some tissue paper or even kind of crepe paper. Um, so you know things that you get kind of at the gift shop to wrap up your presents. Um, and then you just cut off the strips from your from your crepe paper or your tissue paper, different colours, um, and you stick those on as well. Um, if you wanted to, you could cover up the back with some coloured paper as well, just so you can't see these bits, but really it's this side that we're looking at, for our little rocket there. Um, so yeah, so that's what we've been up to this week. So some firework paintings and some drawings and then also our rocket ones. Um, if you do have a go making at home, it'll be lovely to see what you've done. Feel free to post on the Facebook group and hopefully you might be able to join us next time. See you later, bye.